So me and a, another YouTuber, we were just talking about VLM cleaning and we decided to essentially just start mentioning other YouTubers, other cleaners on YouTube. And, um, you know, it, there, it's, there's only so much cleaning you can do. And, you know, uh, these, these people, these cleaners in particular, they've been around a long time. And this one is oxy dry, right? I'll discuss him a little bit. And he's the one that created the set method. So he's been around, I think he's been doing the rotary cleaning, um, probably for the last 28 years at least. Um, and, and from my, to my knowledge, he's been, um, cleaning well over 40 years. I think it's sort of a family tradition. And, um, he did all the methods, the hot water extraction, the, 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 I believe he did the host, uh, all sorts of machines, all sorts of different ways to clean carpet. And he settled on using the rotary. So for the last 28 years or so, maybe longer, he's been using the rotary. So he's got a lot of knowledge and a lot of information on his channel. I check out his channel, watch his uh, content, because I could always learn different things and nuances and whatnot, right? We all, we all can, right? We're all like learning consist constantly. So that's a channel that a lot of people, people ask me about rotaries uh, a lot, you know, and rotary type cleanings. And, um, you know, who better to hear about rotaries than, than a guy that's been, been doing rotary cleanings for the last at least 28 years and probably longer. So, and a channel that's been specific on, pretty specific on rotary only. Now, he, he does use the orbitals once in a while. They have their time and place and the brush machines, time and place, the little extractors that I think he used a few times time and place, right? But mainly it's the rotary. So people ask me, uh, I even got some texts about like rotaries, what kind of rotaries should you get? What should I do? What should I do this with the rotary? And really watch his channel. Uh, all your questions will be answered, right? He's um, one of the original rotary cleaners on YouTube. I know that Paul Romanic used to put out a lot of rotary content. He's a little bit older. I think he's more on the retired side of the business. And Mitchell Rains, from, formerly from Citrus Solution, I believe he has OMG now, and Seminole Carpet Cleaning, and another cleaner, right? Swanee Carpet Cleaning. He's out in Georgia. He has a lot of content, but he's not really that prolific anymore on YouTube, right? And he won't go into the details of chemicals and um, how to use a rotary and all that, right? As much as uh, OxyDry or also known as Robin Roberts. So that channel is very beneficial if you're trying to transition from like an auric to a rotary or and people that watch my channel they're 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 probably like a little bit different crowd a lot of people that watch my channel watch oxy dry obviously but some of the i i try to appeal more to the general cleaners so a lot of them come from like a house cleaning or janitorial background and they may not be familiar with oxy dry right but they do see me use a rotary and they have questions about the rotary so i would say for those people that watch my channel watch his channel too because you can learn a wealth of information about the rotary you know more than i've uh demonstrated on my channel correct um uh i haven't used the rotary as long and proficiently as OxyDry. I've used it for a long time. My first time using a rotary was uh, 
1994 and we didn't have YouTube obviously back then and I worked for a company that um, also didn't really know how to use a rotary so we were going to clean up a pizza parlor right uh, in the kitchen and they had the tile floor it was filthy and I get to work and my boss is like, oh, we got this rotary to uh, help out with the floors, right? It's, it has brushes attached to it and uh, we're going to, and pads. So we're going to use these black pads and brushes. And he was like, do you know how to use one? I was like, nope, I'm not sure how to use a rotary. I, I don't even know what one, at that time, I didn't know what one was. <clears throat> and then there's this other guy I worked with. He was like 260, 250 pounds. He didn't know how to use it. So we're there. We're going to clean the kitchen. And the uh, my boss is like, tells this other guy, like, okay, um, can you start the rotary? And we don't know how to use it, right? We don't know what we're doing. We don't know anything about it. But we know that that rotary is supposed to clean the floors really well, right? So, and this is a regular account. So we got to do this, you know, I think it's a relatively new account. So we're going to be doing this like once a month maybe. And um, we ended up doing it once a month. But this was right before an inspection. They're going to have a health department inspection or, or corporate inspection. I don't know. Something like that. And he gets up there. The dude gets slung, slung to the wall, right? He turns the machine on and bam, he goes flying. I never seen anything like it, right? He literally goes flying into a wall. Um, the machine pushed him, whoosh, just pounded the wall, 250-pound, 260-pound guy. Um, he don't want to use it anymore. My boss, he didn't want to use it, right? He, you know, he's there to just kind of watch and supervise and tell us what to do, that sort of thing. So he's like, Brandon, you got to do it. And I was like, uh, okay. At that time, I'm like 185 pounds, and I'm like, damn, I'm going to get... So, but at least I see what's going to happen, right? So, you know, I brace up and I, I, I my goal is not to get slung because I was for sure thinking I was going to get slung. And so I get up there and I brace for that machine for dear life, right? Uh, I don't know. See, at that time, again, no training, right? This is how it was back then. You had to kind of train yourself. Um I had to, I grabbed it and I held on and I put everything I had to not, and of course the machine was pulling me, right? But I wasn't getting slung and I was putting everything I had into like, little did I know that the machine's effortless if you know how to use it, right? But I, it took me a while to like come up with a way to how to use it. So for the first I don't know, five, six, seven times whenever we had to use that machine. Like it did get easier as it went on. Uh, but I, I didn't realize it till later on that put that thing down, put the handles down to your waist and up and down. Right. Um, and keep it close to your body. I didn't, if I would have been told that it would have been easy, you know, it was a rental machine. Right. And, um, so that's how I, I, I cleaned the floors. So it was a hard go at first, and I didn't like the rotaries because it, it, it was a lot of work, right? I thought. I didn't realize how easy it was. It took a while. So um, save yourself the trouble. You have YouTube. Watch channels like his. You could see some of – I use rotaries too. Carpet Muscle TV uses rotaries. You know, rotaries are the great all-around machine – multi-purpose machine you can use it for like all sorts of cleanings all sorts of you know hard floors and carpet and rugs i prefer it on on uh carpet and rugs especially rugs especially um like a polyester carpet polyester rugs um commercial glue down carpet you know those where it, it really excels because it glides right but um so again watch those channels and um 
watch his channel, subscribe, a lot of information, and I'll probably put out some other videos. Uh, there's a there's also Carpet Guys vlogs, also known as Washington Pro Carpet Cleaning. Uh, he also does the rotary cleanings, very proficient at the rotary also as well and he uses the orbitals he'll use the auric like i do sometimes sometimes you know in certain situations you got to use the auric everybody does um but you do want to have other machines if you're going to go into uh big areas of uh carpets and floors right when you see me cleaning you know cluttered areas the auric is pretty good right but bigger areas you're going to want different kinds of machines you're going to want brushes and you're going to want pads and we show all that on this channel but carpet uh muscle tv shows a lot of that and oxy dry and uh carpet guys vlogs also known as washington pro carpet cleaning also shows those type of uh those as well he shows a, a multitude of different machines and ways to use it. So, again, VLM is uh, a great, great method. So, what I like to see is, you know, the general cleaners get into VLM and be proficient at it and be confident at it. And there's a wealth of knowledge on other channels as well. So, uh, thank you for watching and take care.